in the last lecture we learned what is a signal and why angular has introduced signal feature in angular version 16 so using signals we can tell angular when to update the ui and where to update the ui now in this lecture let's learn how we can create and use a signal in order to use signals you need minimum angular version 16 so you cannot use signals in older versions of angular you need minimum angular version 16 and letter version in order to use signals so if i go to package.json file you will notice that here all the angular libraries which we are using it has version 16 so for this project i'm using angular version 16 so i should be able to use signals but if you are using any previous version like angular 15 14 or any other previous version then you will not be able to use signals so this is very important to understand we can only use signals in angular version 16 and letter versions with that being said let me go ahead and let me close this package.json file and let's go ahead and let's create a signal so let's go to signal component class in there we have two properties this counter property and this message property now currently these two properties are normal properties so whenever the value of these two properties will change angular will have to run change detection cycle in order to update the ui with the updated value for these properties but now what we are going to do is we are going to change this counter property into a signal and to do that the first thing which we need to do is we need to import signal from angular slash co okay so this is the first step now we are going to use this signal so what we want is we want to convert this counter property into a signal for that what we need to do is we need to use signal keyword and here we need to use this signal as a function basically we need to call this signal function now keep in mind that this signal it is going to return us an object in that object we will have some methods and properties and we will talk about it later so here in this way we are creating a signal now here we have two errors the first error we have here and here we have this error because here we are creating a signal so now this counter it is going to store a signal it is not going to store any number value now so i need to remove this type from here okay so that error is gone now here we have second error and here it says it expects one or two arguments but we have not specified any argument when we are calling this signal so to this signal we need to pass an initial value which we want to assign to this counter signal and here to this counter signal initially i want to assign zero okay now you will also see that we have these errors so basically now this counter it is storing a signal value so now we cannot update the value of this counter like this we cannot use an arithmetic operator on a signal and that's why we have this error because here we are using an arithmetic operator on this counter signal so from here i'll go ahead and i will remove this increment operator and also this decrement operator and you will notice that that error is gone all right so here we are creating a signal now how we are creating the signal by calling this signal function and this here it is going to return us an object it is going to return us a signal object and that object is basically a wrapper around this data so now whenever the value whenever the data will change whenever the value of this counter signal will change it will notify angular about that change and in this way angular will know that a signal value has changed so it has to render that updated signal value in the ui now where are we using this counter we are using it in the view template so we are using it here now currently if i go to the web page let me close this developer console here you will notice that instead of showing the initial value of the counter signal it says function now why is that that's because as we learned this signal it is going to return us a function so this counter here it is storing a signal function and when we are simply specifying this counter here as we learned it is storing a function it is not storing any value it is storing a function that's why in the ui we are seeing this strange output now how to fix this in order to fix this all we have to do is we simply have to call that signal function 
and for that we can use a set of parentheses like this and in this way when we are calling this signal function this counter signal function it is going to return us the updated value so initially to this counter signal we have assigned zero so zero will be returned but in the future whenever the value of this counter signal will change that value will be returned when we are calling it like this and it will be updated in the ui so when we are calling this counter signal here and when this function will be executed angular will recognize and it will memorize where this signal has been used so we are using this signal here at this place in the ui within these spans right so angular will memorize this place and in future whenever the value of this counter signal will change angular will come to this place and it will simply update the value here it is not going to re-render the complete component it is only going to re-render that part of the ui where the change has to be updated and this is the big advantage with signals so now if we go to the web page now we should have the proper value so initially we have assigned counter signal with the value zero so that zero is being displayed here but currently this plus and minus button will not work because we have not written the logic so now what we want is whenever this plus button is clicked we want to increment the value of counter signal and whenever this minus button is clicked we want to decrement the value of counter signal so we basically want to update the signal value so in this lecture we learned how to create a signal so here we are creating a signal and how to use a signal so here we are using a signal in the next lecture let's go ahead and let's learn how we can update the value of a signal